A woman minding her own business, walking to work like she does every weekday, is brutally attacked inside a Seattle light rail station. It's been now two weeks since that attack. It was all caught on surveillance video. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Joyce Taylor. I'm Greg Copeland. In a King 5 exclusive, we sat down with the victim. Now, we have decided to air the graphic video after the victim told us she thinks the public has the right to see what happened to her. And we do want to warn you, you are about to see an assault in real time, and it may be inappropriate for some viewers. King 5's Natalie Swaby has the story. I'm normally out of the house all the time, and I have not been out of the house that much. I haven't even, you know, I haven't gone back to work yet. For Kim Hayes, it's an attack that's taken an emotional toll and a physical one too. It's the terrifying moments she can't stop thinking about. March 2nd, 1130 in the morning. It started as a routine day for this trauma nurse on her way to work at Harborview Medical Center. I normally take the light rail to work. Pretty much everybody on that car, quiet, Benign look, nothing out of the ordinary. But as she made her exit from the light rail station, she came face to face with another passenger, Alexander J. I, I don't remember if he said anything. I think he might have said something. And then uh, I felt like I was flying through the air. Surveillance video shows Hayes being thrown down the stairs. Then Jay follows after her, throwing her again. She says he attempted to pick her up for a third time. And I was able to grab onto the railing and kick and scream. She was then kicked in the face. Hayes says the attack, brutal and unprovoked, left her with three broken ribs and a broken clavicle, which required surgery. As a security officer approached, Jay left the station. I mean, he got away. But officers did find Alexander Jay the next day. He was arrested near here at First Avenue and Cherry Street. And a check of his criminal history reveals a lengthy record that dates back at least 20 years. I know multiple arrests. Um, I know that he has been in and out of the system um, many, many times. Court documents show prior convictions for crimes including assault, burglary and theft. Since 2016, Washington courts issued more than 15 bench warrants when Jay failed to show up for court. This is the matter of Jay Alexander. But he was in court today, and so was Kim Hayes. I said that um, I firmly believe if this man got out, he would kill someone. A and I believe it. This was a violent crime. I think he's a violent man, and I want violent people off the streets. In terms of, you know, this that revolving door, what, th there's got to be some help out there. There's got to be something that can be done. As for what was done to her, she says the attack took away so much. I'm navigating life much differently. Um, it will forever impact how I navigate the streets around me. I mean, I've lived in this city for many, many decades, and um, I've always felt Seattle is a safe place and I, I don't feel that now. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.